today, a Pioneers of the Caribbean is inviting readers to share the journey of two modern pioneers from the Caribbean. Let's welcome co-author uh, Patricia Tully to tell us more about the details. Good morning, Ms. Tully. Good morning to you and good morning, Antigua Barbuda, the World Wide Web. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I am great. Thank you for asking and I also am blessing you for asking. Thank you so much for the blessings. Now tell us a little bit about Pioneer Caribbean itself. Okay, it's about our mother's journey, mm -hmm. specifically our mother's journey from the Caribbean to Canada, emigrating in the early 60s, and then um, relocating their families, of course, from, from Jamaica to Canada, and from, for me, from Antigua to Canada. And the way we were brought up, you know, the things we had to deal with, the courage of our mothers, their specific journey, and their faith, and how they overcame different um, situations, and to make the journey for us a lot better. So a lot of rich history, of course, and highlighting uh, their persistence and their resilience as two women pioneering, as you said, through the Caribbean. Uh, what was the inspiration behind um, bringing their journeys to the forefront? Can you repeat that, sorry? What was the inspiration behind bringing their journeys to the forefront? Because of the, dyna the dynamic women they were, the chances they took to grasp certain opportunities at a time when no one else was doing that or wanted to do such a thing. Actually leaving their families behind to make this journey so they can make life better for the entire family. Just their characteristics, period. Definitely, and what a wonderful journey that must have been. Uh, in terms of preparing uh, this work, uh, how long did it take? What, what was the preparation necessary for it? Uh, it took about two years to do the writing. And then um, with the publisher, it took another seven months to get it actually published. Fantastic. Now, we know that readers are going to, to love the, the historic aspect and then watching the journey through your eyes uh, and watching the journey of your, your mothers. Uh, what, do, what do you hope that readers are going to take away from this story? That they will learn what determination is, what it is to make certain decisions mm -hmm. and to follow through on it as long as they have the faith in Christ and God, um, Jehovah, Allah, Father, Mother, God, um, Mighty I Am Presence, whoever it is that they believe in. And they will see themselves in these women as they read about them. And they will learn from that to know that they can accomplish and will accomplish as long as you're willing to go through the journey, make that little sacrifice and keep your faith, then you will make it. What can you say uh, is one characteristic perhaps that you have taken uh, from your mother, from her journey, from things that you have observed? Uh, how to meet challenges, face on, and to um, go through them, make the right decisions and go through them. Right. And to always believe in myself, believe in the Christ that dwelleth in me, which is God. <laughs> Wonderful. And know that faith and trust that you will accomplish. Very well said, of course. Is there any part of the book, and I know that, of course, all of the aspects of it must be uh, definitely very engaging, but are there, is there any uh, part for you that uh, holds a special place in your heart? Can you tell us about it? Any aspect that you would like to share with us? Uh, my grandmother's situation and her passing and... Um, what I learned as a young child about when, when your loved one departs, that um, they can never be replaced and life never remains the same. And how people react to that, like my mother's behavior and the crying, 
and the scene at the cemetery, you know, um, quite touching actually. Wonderful. And of course, you, those touching aspects uh, really leave uh, an impression on, on the reader's mind. So I'm, I'm happy that, uh, that you included that as part of your story. Any advice uh, to younger persons who are probably thinking of uh, doing a collation of, of these types of stories or to just persons who are thinking of writing their story? What would you say? Yes, I would say make the decision and start. Starting is the most difficult, but once you get started, you do your research, you search your memories, make sure everything is correct, then you just continue on. Right now, there's um, what that we can, and they're encouraging all the young people to do exactly that, to write a story, be it a poem, etc. and um, it's a contest. Because I also sponsor that um, what that depends, and that that's very encouraging for them. They can always start there with a poem, a short story, of course, with a Caribbean flavor, be it Antigua or wherever. Yes. Wonderful. And of course, thank you for your encouragement for young people to really take up the mantle and continue on with, you know, uh, expanding their art. How can persons get a, their hand on this piece of work, uh, the, the book that you have uh, co-authored? It is available at Vesta Books. It's also available on Amazon, iTunes, and eBooks. And it's available also from the publishers, which is Friesen Press. Wonderful. And any organization that um, orders 50 copies or more will get a 20% uh, profit back. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so any other plans for you, uh, Ms. Tully, for the rest of 2021? Anything else in the works for you? Um, yes, well, working on something else, but that would be my story. And for Mother's Day, we do have an event coming up, which is a virtual event. And um, we have lots of entertainment and prizes for the mothers. And the first 25 persons who purchase the ticket for the Mother's Day virtual event will get a free copy of the book. And we have some great performances by uh, sensational Daryl Williams on Steel Pan, the smooth singing and singing voice of Michael Dunstan and the powerful vocals of Lorena Davis and lots of gifts. Sounds like a fantastic lineup and definitely something that persons should take advantage of. And I'm sure we're going to hear from you uh, before Mother's Day just to remind everyone about that special virtual event. Okay, thank you so much for speaking with us about, of course, Pioneers of the Caribbean. Is there anyone that you would like to thank, Ms. Tully, before you leave? Oh, um, well, everyone that assisted me, uh, my co-author, of course, her name is Ingrid Lambie. Um, my brother and um, Paddy Simon, uh, my sister D. Giselle Isaac, and persons like that. And just about everyone in my family. Fantastic. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. And of course, congratulations on co-authoring uh, this very special book, Pioneers of the Caribbean. And I definitely hope that readers enjoy the journey of this, the two mothers uh, in, in, in your book. Thank you so very much for having me. And it's an easy read. Everyone, please go out and buy it. It's available at Best of Books. It's available on Amazon. It's available on iTunes, eBooks, and Freezing Press, the publishers. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful morning, Ms. Tully. And thanks again for speaking with us. And thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Okay. All right, so that was uh, Miss Patricia Tully. Of course, she's the co-author of Pioneers of the Caribbean. We're going to take a quick break, and then, of course, it'll be time for Top of the Hour headlines. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 